This is a quick tutorial about how I add a texture to the background of my images. So this is an edited maternity image that is finished. Um, I shoot these with seamless paper in my studio and as you can see the paper has some inconsistent wrinkles. So an easy way to take care of that is to add a texture. It helps with banding and um, gives it a nice painterly upscale look. So these are the textures from Glow Maternity Portraits and I love them. There's more over here. Um, but they are some of my favorite. So all I do is drag the file on top of my image. I'm going to Flip it. I'm going to hold down my shift key so I don't distort the ratio and I'm going to make it bigger than my image. Then I'm going to double click to accept. I'm going to drop down my opacity to 20 so I can see the back. I can see through. I'm going to add a mask. I'm going to make sure that my mask is selected. I'm going to switch to brush, make sure I'm on black. And then at 100% opacity, I'm going to brush it off my subject. But I'm not going to go right to the edge. I'm just going to go um, about this far. So I'm going to leave the texture on the edge. And then after I do the whole thing at 100%, I'll drop down the opacity and then do that closer to the edge. Because you'll see if you go over this way, you get this obvious um, like removal of it right there, like a halo effect. So I'm going to switch it back and put that back on. So if you would cross off your subject at 100% opacity, over onto the backdrop, you would obviously see that something was painted there. So I don't even touch the edge here. Okay, then I'll go down to 30%. Oops. 30% and then I'll go closer to the edge. And I don't even worry about those stray hairs, like I just leave that the texture on top of that and you can't even tell. I still do not go over the edge, I just go closer to it. Because my texture opacity is so low anyways, I'm probably going to drop that down to 15% that there's not, that it just blends easily so I don't have to go right to the edge. So I can look at my mask and see that I missed a big spot right there. I'm going to bump that up to 100 and drop it down. So you can see it turning black, so I missed that. Okay, that's it. I'm going to drop this down to 15, I think. And that's it, super simple. I have my watermark here, but that's it. Thanks for watching.